Hey you guys, Craig here, and welcome to a new Game Maker Studio 2 series. This one is going to be on combat, and it's going to be broken up into a few pieces. This first one, we're going to talk about enemy objects and health bars. So health for both the player and for enemies. Let's jump right into it. This is going to be a pretty quick one. Uh, the first thing we want to do is make an enemy sprite. I'm going to just make a red circle. It'll be the evil counterpart to our blue player. We'll call that sprite enemy. And we'll go ahead and make an object as well. So OBJ enemy. Give it that sprite. And then the next thing we're going to do is set up our enemy health. So. We're going to use two variables here, one to define its max health and one to define its current health. And this is useful for drawing health bars. It's also useful if your uh, characters are able to regenerate health so they don't go over to their max. Yeah, just a lot of good reasons to have it. So we're going to have both. So max HP. You can make this whatever you want. It's configurable. You know, if you have different enemy objects, they can have different max HPs. You could increase it through levels or items or whatever. Um, you know, up to you. And then we'll have current HP. And that will start at max HP. So full health to begin with. The next thing we're going to do, and you guys can decide whether you want this to be on or off. You know, you could turn it on for debugging or something. But we're gonna draw a health bar and we're gonna put this right over the enemy's head. The first thing we wanna do is remember to draw ourself. Very common bug, we forget to draw self. Second thing we wanna do is draw a health bar. And this is gonna take quite a few arguments. There's the top corner and the bottom corner, so that's x1, y1, and then x2, y2. There's the amount, which I believe is a percentage, the current health over the max health times 100. And then it asks you for colors and direction and whether to show the background, whether to show the border. So we're just gonna fill that all in. You guys can play with it, tweak it, put whatever, whatever you'd like in there. The first X will just be our enemy's X. So that's the left-hand side. The first Y is gonna be Y minus some small offset to put it above the head, maybe like eight, scooch it up eight pixels. The Second X will be X plus our sprite width. So the health bar will be the same width as our sprite. And the second Y will be Y minus two or something. We'll see if it's too big, we can change that. The amount, this is where we do our little math to get a percentage. It's gonna be 100 times current HP divided by max HP. So as your current HP goes down, that's gonna you know, be a smaller and smaller value. The background color, uh, we'll just make it black. So that's if there's no health, what color should it be. Uh, the min color, so what color does it turn as it goes down? It's gonna be red, of course, it's always red. And the max color, the color when it's full, definitely green, <laughs> very classic. The direction, I believe we might have to hit help on this one. And our options are, ah, so this is actually numbers, where it's anchored is what they say. If you say zero, it's left, so it's gonna drop down like this. Uh, if you say one, it's right, so it's gonna drop like this. And probably my camera's backwards, actually. So, you know, you just play with it, you'll see. <laughs> you can also have health bars that decrease or increase this way. We're just gonna put zero. It's anchored on the left. The show back is whether or not to include that black background. We'll put true, just so it kind of sticks out. Uh, and then show border, you can wrap it in a, a I think a black border. Mm, we'll put false. These things are very configurable. You guys can choose whatever you want for these. You can also choose whatever you want for these. <laughs> the only thing that actually has to be this is that value right there. So uh, there's our enemy, it's got some health. It's got a little health bar so we can keep our eye on it. And then we're actually gonna go ahead and do the same thing for our player. Let's jump back into our enemy real quick. We could make a common parent for our player and our enemy. A parent that's like, you know, has health, OBJ has health or whatever, and they both inherit from that. You guys could do that if you wanted to. So the way that would look is you would take this code right here and you'd, you know, make another object. And you'd move this code into here and then, you know, 
set this as a parent, like that. The reason I don't want to do that is because it ties our enemy and our player together pretty tight. So, you know, they're inheriting some common functionality, but in reality, our enemy and our player are not going to work that similarly. Uh, probably a better idea is to make some common scripts that they both use. Uh, and actually, we might do that here. So we'll say init health, uh, and we'll move these values in here. And we'll actually make it take the max health as a parameter. So you can use this little label thing here to have it show up um, when you're typing, you can see what your parameters are. So this will be, instead of 10, we'll say argument zero. So whatever gets passed into this script is what the max health is gonna be. And then our enemy, we can use that by saying init health, and the max HP will be 10, not one, there we go, 10. Uh, and then our player in the create, we can do the same thing. Uh, you guys can ignore this extra code here. This is from some of the other tutorials that I've done. Uh, this is from the inventory tutorials. You guys can check those out if you are interested in that. But yeah, so there's initializing your health variables and then this drawing. We'll keep draw self here. We'll keep that separate from the health bar, but we could make a script draw health and plug that in. And we don't need to take any parameters here. It's gonna look this up off of the calling object. So as long as the calling object has called init health at some point, draw health will just work. So draw health and not draw health bar. That's a built-in function. We wanna use our script that we called draw health. And for our player, We're gonna plug that in as well. Now, if we pop some enemies in here, and we hit play, we should see that we all have health bars. Yeah. So next time, if you guys are interested, we can talk about attacking. We'll start with melee attacks, and we'll actually put these health bars to use <laughs> as they'll be going uh, down when we beat these enemies into the dirt. So <laughs> there you go. That's a pretty simple way to set up your enemy health and your player health. Scripts are pretty powerful things. It's nice for code reuse. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys thought and definitely stick around for the next one. We'll talk about attacking. So thank you guys. I'll see you then.